So, Baruch Hashem, for the past few years, every week we have this shear. Usually it is dealing with the sugi of the weekly parsha, and sometimes in Yona de Yoima. Last week we combined both of them, Parsha Summer, Svias Weimer, this week as well. We are in the midst of a Shmita year. So Shmita is the Ikar Nogevi Etzesol, but Gam Achenu Shabemedina Ziyam. I have a very keen interest in Dine Shvias, as I know. And the sugi today is Achilas Peres Shvias. Is it a mitzvah or not? So this week's Parsha. This is a mitzvah. Once again, in Parshish Mishpotim, Vashviyas Tishmeteno Venitashto, Vachlo Avyoine Amecho, Vyisram Toichal Chayas Asoda. Is this a mitzvah? Or the Kavon of the Posik is just, you need to be mafka the proudest of the field and let anybody take whatever they want relinquish your ownership to everyone so this is a mechlokis in the Rishonim the Rambam does not count the mitzvah of Achilles Perishvius in the Tar Yag mitzvah gimel shishachach harav in the Ramban's opinion is, the Ramban wonders, why doesn't the Rambam count? And as a Mechlok is a Chloinim, what is the Kavon of the Ramban? Megil Esther, one of the major commentaries of the Rambam, Noisa Kalem, Shil Rambam and Sefer HaMitzvahs, the Tashbis and Zohar Harakia, Marit Al-Ghazi, Hilchus Chala Peireg Beis, Charedim, Mitzvahs at Luyos Ba'oretz, Simen Aleph, Os Yutes. They all maintain, according to the Ramban, yes, it's a mitzvah to say to eat Peres Shavias. The Chazanish Yud, Aled Yud, Hilcha Shavias has a different opinion. Now the Chazanish argues, all the Ramban means, why doesn't the Rambam count the lava bom achlal asay? The Ramban writes, the so what the Ramban means is a prohibition, actually. Chazal Dashen, lo you're not allowed to sell Perishvias or buy Perishvias. doesn't belong to you. You cannot sell what isn't yours. That's the command of the Ramban, but even the Ramban agrees, there is no mitzvah to eat Perishvias. Still is a wonder to me, because there are two most fundamental alochas that are the essence of uh, of the isra of the way we need to handle perishvias, and both are gemoras. Samach beis omedalaf and avay dezora lo achlo velo leschayro. Num beis omed beis em sochem lo achlo velo lehefsin. The widest that Ramban only called the gemora and avay dezora, and he and he disregards, he ignores the gemora em sochem. So, Mincha Soshan Shvius, I dealt with this question, but I did not come up with a convincing and reasonable explanation. But anyway, I think the Chazanish fits in better with the Ramban, because the Ramban does write. Two contemporaries of the Chazanish wrote the same, have the same opinion. The Ridvaz was a an amazing sage, the Rav of Tzvas, and his neighbor, Rav Moshe Klios, was the Rav in Tveria. Sefer Teure Sa'oretz, Periches Os Kof Hei. And I think even when we analyze the Psukim, Chazanish seems to be right. And these Psukim do not mean a mitzvah to say to eat Perishvias. And I want to read these two Psukim in their entirety. This indicates hefka, not a mitzvah. Because when the animals eat food, that definitely cannot be a mitzvah. According to many Rishonim, Obviously, the Rambam as well is non-Jews. 
your servants, your maids, your non-Jewish ones, if they live in your house, you are entitled to feed them Perisuvias. So, this doesn't seem to be a mitzvah. And going back to the Posik and Pasha's Mishpotim, Vashviyas Tishmetenu Venitashtu, that is the mitzvah of Hefka, Vachlu Evyoni Amecho, Vyislam Toichel Chayas Asoda. So, in this Posik, one could argue, Vyitram Toichel Chayas Asoda. So, there is a division between Vachlu Evyoni Amecho and only what they leave over, Toichel Chayas Asoda. But if this Posik means a mitzvah, it is not only Aniyim. Perishviyas is not Matnas Aniyim, it's not Leket Shikha Vepeo. Perishviyas, every Jew is entitled. So therefore, I think these both these psukim in Pashtus are just a manifestation of the myths of Hefka. These fruits are not yours. You need to just leave them, leave them to everyone. V'hoisa Shabbos or it's lochem in plural form. Lochem l'achla, l'cho. And the same in Parshas Mishpotim. So I do feel stronger the opinion of the Chazanish and not the opinion of the others. The Megillah says the wants to prove that it's not a mitzvah, supporting the Rambam against the Ramban, because in his opinion, according to the Ramban, it is a mitzvah. So the Megillah's Esther wants to be medaked from the Roshan. Of the Mishnah, Shvius Perikhes Mishnah Beis, Shvius Nitno Lachila Lestia Lasicha Nitno seems to be it is permitted, it is given Lachila Lestia, but it's not a chiyuv. I wonder. We find exactly the same lotion in the Mishnah Perik Beis, Mishnah Beis of Masechet Masheni, and Masheni Lekuli Alma. Everybody agrees is a mitzvah. And that's the notion of the Mishnah. The Rambam himself, the Chastumis, Perik Yud Alaf Oloch Alaf, uses the same language, Antruma. And the Rambam himself, Perik Tezvav, Chov Beis, Hil Chastruma says, Chil Chastruma is a Mitzvah, and a coin needs to make a Brocha, she can do Shorty, big Dishos, Shalam, and Tzivor, or Echol Truma. So the Loshe Nitno is just what are Perish Shviyas designated for? But the lesson does in no way indicate that it's not a mitzvah. We find the same lesson by Masashen in the Mishnah and by Truma in the Rambam. There is a Yushalmi from which the Achroinim want to be midaik that it is a mitzvah. Yushalmi Shvi is Chov Beis Amedalaf. Ein Machayve Noisar Lechol Pas Sheipsho Knuvas Yerek Tavshul Shenes Kalkel. A main Machayve Noisar Lechol food that is no longer really fitted for consumption it has become rotten or mashma if the food is proper food and tasty and appealing it is a mitzvah and that's why the Yushalm says Ein mechaivin esolechom pash so the chazanish offers an interpretation which is a huge doichik and difficult to accept Chazanish says, Ein Machai Ben Oiselechol doesn't mean that there is a half a minute that he needs to eat. What it means is we do not relate to Pasha Ipsha, Vetavsha, Shanaskalka, Vekinus Yerik as if it is food. Vemachal Odom Osor Latet Lebehema. You are allowed to give this stuff, this stuff to animals because they're no longer designated to people. And that is. What the Yushalma means, Ein Mechaiven Oisolecha. This is so unreasonable. Ein Mechaiven Oisolecha. Which means, he's not mechuyiv, he's not obligated to eat. What is the Havim in it? Even proper Perishviyas, he has no mitzvah whatsoever. Some say, the Havim is, he needs to eat. Lem noya have said. But the Merit's opinion, Chelek Aleph Pei Girmal, and the Chazanish agrees, there is no Isa Grama by Hefzed Perishviyas, only be a and this is far less than a grana. Is there a havim and you eat? You need to eat all the fruits, all the vegetables, whatever has perishvias. What you need to burst to prevent hefsed? It is only natural <clears throat> that a great deal of the produce of the field, at the end of the day, remains uneaten. That is nature. 
I have a pshat in this Yerushalmi, and I think my pshat is so push it and so reasonable and so appealing. Sometimes I wonder, why did it wait for me? My pshat would be this. The common denominator, the Tzad shova between Pasha Ipsho, Tavsha Shanaskal, Kalknuvas Yerek is, you are the one that caused this food to get ruined. Because grain could stand for years and it won't get decomposed. The huge silos of grain hold hundreds of tons of grain for many months and even years. Doesn't rot, doesn't get decomposed. Fruits and vegetables, before you peel them, could last much longer than the moment you peel them. You peel an apple, a few hours later, it's no longer appealing. But before you take off the pills, it could last much longer. And most foodstuffs, vegetables, have a longer shelf life than a cooked soup. So the Havamina is, Pasha Ipsho, Knuvas Yerek, Tapsha Shonaskalkal. If at the end of the day you're not going to eat them, Lema Freya, you might be considered as a person that was Mafsid Biodayim, Peres Kedusha Shviyas. You peeled the fruits and vegetables. You cooked the food. You took grain and turned it into bread. If you're not going to eat your stuff, then a mafreya, you're a mafsid. Why? When I peeled these fruits, I did the right thing. That's the way people eat these specific fruits and vegetables. And when I cooked my dinner, it's what I, what I was supposed to do. We're not lions or tigers that eat raw meat, or horses and cows that eat raw vegetation. So pasheipsho, tavshol shenizbasho, kinuvasiere. That is the proper way to treat these foods. And because at the time our intention was to consume and to eat, even if at the end of the day we won't eat, that is not considered mafsid biyadayim. That is my interpretation, that's my pshat, and I see no other. Because even if we would assume that it is a mitzvah to eat perish viyas, definitely isn't the chiyuv. So recently, Chalamoyed, I said a big shear about the very concept of mitzvah shalrishus. It's not a milsa the pshita that the bachlal is such a concept, mitzvah shalishus. And I brought only three examples. Turum alakoyen, perishvias, according to some achroinim and das aramban, matzah kol shivo, the opinion of the Vilna Gon of the Gro. No others besides the three. So even if we would assume there is a mitzvah to eat perishvias, it can never be a chiyuv. Only a mitzvah. So what's the lotion? Ain mechaiven oisoy lechol pasha ipsha tavshen skalkal ma have a minister mechaiven oisoy lechol. Even proper perishvias ain mechaiven oisoy lechol. It's never a chiyuv, and therefore, the only reasonable explanation is the one that I offered. The have a is because if you don't eat the food that you prepare, then it is you that caused this food to be magia li dei hefset. Kamash malon? No. So even though I support, and I think the Chazanish is right, that even according to the Ramban, it's not a real mitzvah. It's just a lava bo say, but I still want to make an important point. It is a mitzvah. A mitzvah of a sort. Chibo yisailo. Because otherwise, what is Kedushas Shavias? The very concept of Kedusha, Kedusha means dedication. It has no other translation, interpretation. Many times at the beginning of the you hear me saying, Shiur ayom mugdash le'ilui nishmoso yishol ploini, le'refuah shleim ala almoini. And in the English year, I say, this year is dedicated. Lagdish means to dedicate. Hagdishah is dedication. Designation. 
At the beginning of Masechet Kiddush and Beis Amit Beis, the Gemara says, what's the Loshan Kiddush? And why does a husband say to the wife, a chosen to the kala arayat mikudesh asli? The osa la kuli al mekehegdish. Toysus explains, that's drash. Pshat is, mikudesh asli, miyuched asli, mezumen asli. You are to me, and that is why she is osa la kuli al mekehegdish. Because she is dedicated and designated to her husband, and therefore, she is not permitted to anyone else. That is the concept of Hegdish. Kodesh legevoya v'oso lehediet. Two different types of Hegdish. Kedush is mizbech, Kedush is bedek abayis. Kedush is mizbech of the korbonas, the sacrifices that go upon the mizbech, mizbech Hashem. Bedek abayis is dedicated to the building of the base of Hegdish, to the clay Hegdish. Both are dedicated, designated legevoya, and that is why they're also lehediet. Who ishu miuchedes mizumenes labalan? That is why she's also a kuli alma. We find the expression of kedusha even in a negative context, and not only in a positive connotation. Brochas davches elu parasim amugdoshim umizumonam legehenom. The Persians, the Rishon, they are dedicated. To Gehenna. That is where they belong, and that is where ultimately they will go. And the lesson of the Gemon, Brochas Davches, Mugidoshin, Umizumonim, Le Gehenna. So, what is Kedusha Shvius? Kedusha for what? Koidesh Lema. There is no Kedusha that only has a negative connotation. Lo Lehefsid, Lo Lishoire, not for this, not for that. For what? Yes. So the Chazanish is the Mor the Shmaitz. He's the one that says, Ain Kavona Saramban that there's a mitzvah. The Chazanish contradicts his own words in the very same simon. Chazanish I quoted before is Yud Aled Yud, and now it's Yud Aled Daled. A Gaval the Gechidish of the Chazanish. Chazanish proves that we are entitled to prevent Goyim from coming into the fields and collecting Pereshviyas. Chazanish asks, what right do we have to prevent from them? It's Hefka. It's not ours. We have no authority or no ownership. What right do we have to prevent the Goy from coming and collecting Peshvias? The Chazanish in two different places has two different explanations. But in Yudanad Yuradi, Yudanad Yuradi writes an amazing Chiddush. And he writes, we have the right to prevent them because even the non-Jews are obligated Lo lekapeach Yisrael mimitzvoson. They are obligated to be supportive and help us, at least not prevent us from doing our duty, serving Hashem and performing our mitzvahs. And therefore they are not allowed to take away our perishvias because this is our mitzvah and not theirs. Chazonish. It's a mitzvah. Chazanish in the very same simon says it's not a mitzvah, even according to the Ramban. And I say it's not a mitzvah, I say. But these parents have Kedusha. Kedusha lama, Kedusha la'achil. That's what they are designated for. And if the Bach says in Hilchas Berchas a parents in Meresh Ches and Orachayim, that parents has soul of Kedusha. And anybody that eats, Pedersetz is all becomes elevated. It brings holiness to those that eat Pedersetz is all. Kal v'choyim ha-Pedersheviyas. It is a higher level of Kedusha than any other pre in Etz all all the six other years. It's Kedusha Shviyas. Pedersetz is all are designated lo la-achila la-froshes tunas ha-maises. But Pedersheviyas have no other designation, a positive one besides so we pray from the Chazanish that yes, it is a mitzvah of a sort, is a mitzvah in a way. Perishvias Kedoshim, who Perishvias Mikadshim et Ochleyem. So I recently wrote a very warm and encouraging letter to a group of Balabatim in America. You know, one of them is a very dear friend to me, and he asks me 
not to say his name. He's an honor and a gavan. He lives in five towns. What else could I say without mentioning his name? Many of you know him. Wonderful person. And he initiated with a group of Banabatim, supporting the farmers in Israel and supplying the products of the field, the fruit, from the farms directly to yeshivas and to schools and to kailas, direct. And that is the purest form of Oitza Beisden. It prevents all the halacha complications and difficulties of Medida, the Mishkal, and Schoiro, and so many different problems in halacha. That is the way we should treat Perish Shavias. Many in our community in Israel would never touch Perish Shavias as if they they carry a bacteria or a germ as if you're going to get COVID because they're afraid of the halachas. If we could make Perish Shavias available to everyone, it's such a mitzvah. So in my backyard, I have a lemon tree. On one hand, it's a pain in the neck. If I wouldn't have that tree, I would build two more rooms in my in my house. I want to cut down a fruit tree. But the event, I love that tree. Not only does it give the most beautiful and tasty lemons in the entire Middle East, which it does, but I have the opportunity to be mafresh to Mesomaisis with a brocha from Tevel Vadai, which is not very common, and Kedusha Shvias. So, I have a sign out my outside my house. In the backyard, there's a lemon tree. It's Hefker. Anybody that wants lemons, knock on the door and we'll be happy to let you in. Some people actually do knock on the door, not very many. So, I am happy to eat those lemons because Kedush Shviyas. We should be Mechabev Kedush Shviyas. So today... I think it was a very interesting shi, and we touched upon some fundamental ideas and big chidush. This week's Pasha, Pasha's Bahar, is the mitzvah of Shviyas. Avoides ha'oretz v'avoides ha'domo, hefker peris Shviyas. Chazal and various different sources. Koin shoimri Shviyas, geboirei koyach, oise devoroi. And in Medesh Shabbat, the beginning of Chumash Shemois, we find in Chazal, why are they Geboi Rekoyach? person sees his fruit, his fields, the product of his toil, and he gives it all away. Mafkir it all. Strangers come into his fields. Enjoy his fruit. Take it away. Take it home. And he must trust the Kodesh Bochu with Sivisias Berchosi. Geboire Koyachoi Sedevore. And the Medrash says it's not one day, it's not a week, it's not a month, it's an entire year. We find this expression to another category as well. Shabbos Pechai Somadalaf. Besho Shigdimi Yesu Anasar and Nishbom Rakodesh Bochu Migila Razel Abonai. That's the Loshan Shemalach Hashoras Mishtam Shem. And that is what HaKadosh Baruch Hu said on Bnei Yisrael Kishigdim and Asra Nishma. What's the Chad Shova? What is the common denominator between Bnei Yisrael Bahar Sinai Shigdim and Asra Nishma and Shoy Meshviyas? Obviously, Amunah and Betochen. They both trust the Kodesh Bochu in a total way. Person toiled in his fields. This is his fruit. It's his sustenance. It's his lifeline. Once upon a time, when there was a famine in the land, people died from hunger. This is what will keep me and my family going. And he puts his trust in the Kodesh Bochu. It's an easy as Bochus. They didn't even know what a Kodesh Baruch Hu demands. What are the mitzvahs? They trusted a Kodesh Baruch Hu. It's all going to be wonderful. In that same daf in Shabbos Beches, the Gemara tells the story of Rav who was sitting and learning. His fingers were under the bench he was sitting on and they were bleeding. 
And a tzedok, he sees the Rava, and he laughs at him, and he says, Ame pezizu dekadmisu pumaycho leudnaycho, adayin bepsizu zaycho kaimisu. Silly people, Ame peziza. You put your mouth before your ears when you said Nasav and Ishmael. You didn't even know what a Kodesh Bochu demands, and you said, we're going to perform, and we're going to take it all upon ourselves. You're still the same. And Rav says, Ananda Segina Bishlemu says, Kayim Bam Tumas Yishulam Tanchem. And you, the Segina Ba'akal Kalusa, is Kayim Bachem, Veselev Boidim Yishodem. And Rashi explains, Tumas Yishulam Tanchem. He salachnu imoi betoim lev kederach oisem ba'avo. We trust in HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And out of pure love, we trust in Him and we are confident. He would not demand anything that we cannot perform. He will not demand anything that we cannot live with. And all the mitzvahs He's going to give us are to our benefit, to our good. So both put their trust in HaKadosh Baruch Hu, but I think it goes far beyond that. Both are against the very basic nature of man. A person doesn't see others taking advantage of his possessions and his toil. B'Shivyon Nefesh. Peri Gimel Dubov Abbasad, there's Aloch Echeskiz Gimel Shonim. If a person sits in a house, he sits in a field three years, and nobody was Moicha, we assume the house is his, the field is his. And the reasoning, the rationale is, if a wood belonged to someone else, it is impossible that that somebody wouldn't give him a chur, wouldn't shout and scream, get out of my house, get out of my land. And this is exactly what the Torah demands from Shoim Rishviyas. It's your land, it's your toil. Let go. Let anyone take it. That's against the very nature of man. Hegdim and is against the nature of man. The human being was born free. He never wanted to be a slave. Slaves always try to run away and to escape. A free man would never take upon himself what he doesn't even know what is required. Did you ever see a worker signing a contract to work without knowing what are the conditions what will he demand it to do how many hours and what is the compensation he will get only a slave is Magdam Nasr and Ishman that is against human nature that is what we did at Har Sinai and we're approaching Chag Shavuos very soon and that is the common denominator that Sada Shavu between Shoim Rishviyas and B'nai Yisrael Shigdi Menasar and Ishma. And that is why they are Giboy Rei Koyach, Eizehu Giboy Akoy Vishis Yitzchay. The real hero, the real giver is the one that overcomes his Yitzchay, his inclination, his basic human nature. Eizeh Giboy Akoy Vishis Yitzchay. And that is Migil Arazer Rabon Eloshans Shomalach Yashoras Mishtam Shuboy. Because the angels don't need to fight their yates, or they don't have one. They don't need to go against their nature because they don't have one. They were created in the heavens to serve a Kodesh Bochor. They have no other option. They have no yates or they have no lust and no temptations. We are the Geboi Rekoyach. As a Gibara Koyvish is it's like. and Begashmias. So Bishviyas, it's about Gashmias. It's about your livelihood, your sustenance. Trust that Kodesh Baruch Hu, give it all away. Muhammad Arsina was in Ruchnias. Trust that Kodesh Baruch Hu, take it upon yourself. All the mitzvahs are for your good and to your benefit. And they will make you happy. Ashrecho b'yoyram hazeh, v'toyv l'cho l'yoyram abo. Let us all be geboi rekoi achoi sedevore l'shmoi b'kol devore. And we'll support Shoim Rishviyas and we will like our forefathers, each and every day of our lives, we will say, Nasa Venishma. We should be Zechba Kurov to be as Mashiach Zedkenu, Bemheru Viamenu Amen.